Okay, class, today we're learning about density. As we said before, the formula for density is mass divided by volume. Here's a little trick. The top of the heart makes the M, the bottom makes the B. So as we see here, there's two common substances, water and oil. The density of water is one gram per milliliter. The density of oil is approximately 0.91 grams per milliliter. Oh, I'm so sick of teaching like this. I'm sick of remote learning. I'm sick of just lecturing. I wish there was a better way. Where did that bus bring me? Where am I? Oh, IS24 Family Science Night! I thought we weren't going to get to do that this year. Is this my station? What do I have to do? Do they expect me to cook something? I have oil. I have these white tablets. Let's see. Let's see what I can do. Oh, I already have some water. I have three containers with water in them. Let's add some. Oh, I have some blue food coloring. I'm going to add some blue food coloring. Five. So I can make sure I do five in each one. Five. And five. You know what? I want that blue coloring to, to be nice and even, so I'm going to swish it around. Swish, swish. What a pretty color blue this is. I have vegetable oil. Oh, no, pure canola oil. I wonder how the density of this oil compares to the density of the water. I wonder if I put it in, if I can make some observations. Oh, how pretty that made the blue look. Hmm. Hey, wait a minute. The oil is going on the top. Why would the oil go on the top? I figured for sure the blue would go on the top. I guess oil is less dense than water. You know what this looks like? This looks like those lava lamps that my son used to have. You know what I have here? Glitter. I don't think he would have liked glitter in his, but I like glitter, so I'm adding some glitter. Shake it up, and I wonder what's going to happen. Oh, I see it separating on the bottom, but I bet you there's something else I could do to make this a little bit more fun. I have Alka-Seltzer. I'm going to add some Alka-Seltzer. I'm going to break them up. I'm going to add them to the second one. I'm going to add two. And we're going to let that sit. And then I'm going to put four in the next one. Whoa, look what's happening in that middle one. I wonder if adding two and four is going to make a difference. Oh, look at this last one with four. How cool. That looks like it when it was plugged in. Are you getting a good shot of that last one that's plugged, that's, uh, has four, and look at it comparing to the middle one. And then we have the first one with no Alka-Seltzer. So I guess we could say if this was an experiment, that would be our control. So what we did here today at IS24 Family Science Day was that we made our own lava lamps. Can you make your lava lamp the same way I did? I wonder what you can do differently to make yours work a little bit better. Bye-bye.